To extract a wisdom tooth that is not erupted, the dentist will perform a nerve block technique to the inferior dental nerve in the area where the anesthetic will be applied. If the area is completely numb, a small incision will be made in the gum tissue to expose the bone that covers it and visualize the wisdom tooth. Later, contouring will be carried out at the level of the tooth, bone, and then a cut in the wisdom tooth with devices called piezoelectrics, which are used to divide the tooth into parts so that extraction is easier, a process called tooth sectioning. Once the tooth is divided, the dentist will use an instrument called elevator to push the tooth out. And then with the help of metal tweezers, the expert will proceed to pull it until it is completely out. Once all the parts of the tooth have been extracted, the remains will be removed and the area will be cleaned. The dentist may or may not place a filling to speed healing and prevent infection or dry socket, which can be complication after an extraction. The dentist will decide whether or not to sew the wound. If he does, the stitches must be removed after approximately seven days. In some cases, the dentist will only place a gauze in the extraction area for about 25 minutes so that the bleeding area can clot and heal faster.